Come on! We can't stay here! Uh, hang on! I need a minute! Okay. How did this happen, Georgie? How did- Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Uh, oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Well, it won't be your fault. Oh, it'll all land on- oh. Here. Uh. Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then? I you didn't fucking... mean- You ah! fucking- You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Don't give me that bullshit! You're responsible! Like hell I am. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. <coughs> oh. <sighs> you think that'll help? Oh. You still haven't learned, have you? Still the same old fucking moron. Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the old thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You murdered Faith and Lily. You put those fucking ribbons around their necks. You had the power to let them go, but you chose not to. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. 
You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Why should you get to decide? Either of you. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. Vivian, this is the way it has to be. I know that. Wait. But you're not going to be the one to do it. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, wait, I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa, and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! Oh. Oh. Oh, Vivian! Time, no! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. Do you care? Shouldn't you be more worried fuck. about yourself here? Just wanted a nice image to part on. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you wanna do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. Stop! Fox, just stop! <laughs> At least you're consistent. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. All right, Georgie. <laughs>
Still warm. He's here, all right. So this is where they've been sending these. Bigby Wolf. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. It's about time you showed up. Yeah. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way, now. Don't make this worse. Aww. He doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? <laughs> 